But I like, I like girls. I like the nice, sexy girls. But not the rude ones. The rude ones are oh, like, I, I don't like them. Because I realise girls, they never come, I mean, you could agree with this, they never come like sexy and polite. They're not just gone, they, I don't know where they are. They come sexy and rude. But all the, not rude, rude. I'm talking the ones where you, hi, hey, excuse me. I'm not interested, in it. I'm sure I'm interested. <laughs> They don't even look at you in it, they say, I'm not interested, no. And I get nice as well, I approach this girl, I see this, this girl's nice. I see her, I say, excuse me, you dropped your phone. She goes, I'm not interested in it, I don't care. <laughs> nice, safe. <laughs> she tried to call me. Have you got my phone? I said, you're not interested in it. <laughs> Tell it I know. Because some girls are rude, even in a club, I was in a club recently. And I see this girl, this girl is nice. I don't mean that, I'm talking blind people church, so she was nice. <laughs> nice. She looked like you, but sexy enough, yeah. She looked nice, she looked good. So I thought, I need to approach her right. I can't come home back to go right. So I went into the toilet, I got my aftershave from an African man, man and you know. That was a one part, no, no, no. My third man, no, no, no. I had, and I thought, yeah, I got my big expensive bottle of water. <laughs> and I saw her and I looked at her and I was like, can I chat to you for a second? She goes, you come here, innit? You know those you, you come here, innit? And I was with my boy, so there's no way. I was like, nah, I'm not going to her. She's coming to me. Not even halfway, she's coming to me. Then I hear, yeah, psh, that lady. <laughs> no, I just, no, I'm not going to her. So when I made my way there now, yeah, I used the same line. You heard it before, I, I had to, to be quick, you know. I said, son of a, haven't I seen you somewhere before? You know what she said, man? Yeah, that's why I stopped going there. You know when you want to rush the girl? You know, but you know you're not going to. I don't get that feeling, so I rushed her now. I was going to take a hospital, but I stopped going there, innit? So, yeah. <laughs> one girl tricked me, I went, listen. She said, this one I don't like some girls. So she tricked me, in. I had to listen carefully, but what? She said to me, are you a guy that prefers batty or a guy that prefers breasts? I was like, batty all day. That's me. She goes, right, I thought you was a breast man. I said, nah. She goes, how long have you been a batty man? I'm like, long time. Long time. <laughs> and that's the thing, because girls will walk past and guys will judge it. That's what you love because you know guys will judge it. This is a petite walk on my girl. What's going on now? Maybe after jail or something. And then and you've got the mid range. Girl walk past. Oh, that's a bad one still. The voice goes high. That's a bad one still. Be excited, don't laugh. You know? And then you've got the dark arm. When you get mad, your lips just rumble. <laughs> Don't lie, it goes past this. And that's a black <laughs> one. No. <laughs> you, you get mad. It's true. That's the one when she puts on her jeans, she does the dick. You know about the dick? This is the girl. That's the dick. Like, see, you know how the skinny girls ain't laughing right now. See them with them, they could run and jump in their jeans. <laughs> um, on Real Deal Comedy Jam, let me tell you, my name is Axel Taylor, and I've been loving the Real Deal. And I tell you, if you don't know about the Real Deal, you have to know about the Real Deal. You have to be there or be there.